Charlottesville fugitive is walking free in Ecuador, and the South American country has refused to extradite him to the U.S. Paul Seglia vanished in March 2015 before his federal trial for fraud charges. He falsely claimed he owned half of Facebook. As 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ali Tui explains, Ecuador's decision could all be a political statement directed at the White House. These photos capture Paul Seglia's first moments as a free man in Ecuador. Robert Ross Fogg is Seglia's attorney for his case here in New York. He can be Paul Seglia, and he could be Paul Seglia raising his children. Uh, he can go to the beach, he can go to the malls, he can, he can farm, he can run a business. Seglia fled the U.S. in 2015 ahead of his trial for mail and wire fraud charges related to his false claim he owned part of Facebook. Investigators say while on house arrest, Seglia cut off his electronic monitoring bracelet and attached it to a ceiling fan so it appeared he was still moving around his home. He was captured in Ecuador last year and had been in custody until now. So why did Ecuador turn down the extradition request? Well, Seglia's wife gave birth to a son while in Ecuador, and that may have played a role. It's also believed the Ecuadorian president also denied the extradition after the U.S. had recently done the same thing to Ecuador. The president's decision is more of a political statement, and uh, Paul has turned out to be a lucky political pawn. Fogg says he believes Seglia will now seek asylum and citizenship in Ecuador. A spokesman for the U.S. Attorney's Office, Southern District, says the charges against Seglia still remain and that he is still very much a fugitive. It's unclear, though, whether the State Department will try other measures to have him returned back to the U.S. Reporting in Buffalo, Ali Tui, 7 Eyewitness News.